assalamu alaikum students uh, today the topic of our discussion is uh, uh, non respiratory functions of lungs and uh, uh, you have uh, discussed, uh, discussed about uh, uh, the respiratory functions of lungs and uh, the main respiratory function is uh, uh, to provide uh, oxygen uh, to the tissues and removal of carbon dioxide from tissues uh, uh and then uh, to blood and to lungs and then to outward uh into the environment so the main function is transport of gases and uh, the now we will uh, discuss uh, the non respiratory functions of lungs and, uh, uh as uh, this uh, uh topic is uh, not uh, given in uh, guyton so uh, we will uh, discuss it from uh, uh, JP so uh, it is uh, the first chapter of, uh, of uh, JP uh, and uh, the topic is non respiratory functions of uh, uh, respiratory tract so the first function is olfaction uh, as you know the olfactory receptors are present in the nostrils and nostrils are the part of respiratory tract so the uh, olfaction sense uh, is uh, the first uh, uh, function of uh, respiratory tract that is non respiratory function and uh, the second one is vocalization and uh, uh, in vocalization uh, the main uh, uh, part uh, of uh, rest, uh, respiratory tract that is involved is larynx so uh, larynx is also called the sound box and uh, the third is uh, prevention of dust particles uh, uh, it, it, the respiratory tract for uh, mainly the nostrils uh, are, imp are important uh, for uh, filtration action as uh, there are um, uh, hairs in uh, the nasal mucous uh, membrane uh, which uh, uh, are held by the mucus secreted by the nasal mucous membrane and uh, those dust particles uh, which escape nasal hairs and uh, nasal mucous membrane are removed by the phagocytic action of macrophages in the alveoli, the alveolar macrophages, and particle uh, which escape the protective mechanisms in nose and alveoli are thrown out by cough reflex and sneezing reflex. So these uh, reflexes are uh, layer by layer. Firstly, uh, the hairs in uh, the nasal mucous membrane, then uh, the macrophages, and uh, the remaining uh, particles by cough reflex and sneezing reflex. Then is a, a defense mechanism. Uh, in uh, the immunological uh, defense mechanism has a role of uh, lungs uh, and uh, there are many cells like leukocytes, macrophages, mast cells, natural killer cells and dendritic cells. So these cells provide the defense and um, uh, the epithelial cells also uh, secrete defensins and uh, catholicidins. These have also antimicrobial uh, action. And uh, through leukocytes, neutrophil kill the bacteria by phagocytosis. And defense through macrophages. As uh, you know, the macrophages are antigen-presenting cells. They present the antigen to either uh, T cell or B cell. Uh, T cell in case of cellular immunity mm -hmm. and uh, B cell in case of uh, humoral immunity. And macrophages secrete uh, TNF, uh, chemokines, interleukins, uh, uh, which uh, uh, produce uh, the inflammatory response. And defense through mast cells by hypersensitivity reactions like allergy and anaphylaxis. And uh, secrete heparin, histamine, serotonin, and hydrolytic enzymes and the defense through natural killer cells. Natural killer cells uh, provide um, immunity against uh, uh, viruses and uh, also against uh, the formation of cancers as they secrete interferons and tumor necrosis factor. And uh, the last one are the dendrites. Uh, dendrites uh, are also the antigen presenting cells like uh, macrophages they present the antigen the foreign body to uh, the T cells and the B cells and then uh, is the maintenance of water balance uh, during uh, expiration uh, water evaporates uh, through the expired air and some amount of body water is lost by this process 
and then the regulation of uh, body temperature as you know that when the uh, during uh, this there is a heat loss from the body and uh, regulation of acid base balance that is uh, the seventh uh, uh, non respiratory function of lungs uh, as you know the carbon dioxide uh, has a uh, has a acidic properties and uh, um, carbon dioxide combines uh, with water to form carbonic acid uh, and uh, since the carbonic acid uh, is unstable it splits into uh, hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ions it occurs in uh, uh, the blood but the entire reaction is reversed uh, in lungs when uh, carbon dioxide is removed from uh, blood into the alveoli of uh, the lungs so as the carbon dioxide is a volatile gas it is practically uh, blown out by ventilation so the pH is maintained by these reactions and when uh, there is a lot of carbon dioxide in the body there is a hypoventilation hyperventilation in the body because uh, the carbon dioxide is the stimulus for a higher brain center for uh, for uh, your respiratory centers uh, so when there is increase in carbon dioxide there is activation of respiratory centers and this uh, activation of respiratory centers will lead to hyperventilation as a, and a, as a hyperventilation uh, we will remove more carbon dioxide out of the body and the ph will become normal so this is the whole story and uh, the anticoagulants uh, mast cells in the lungs secrete heparin heparin is an anticoagulant and it prevents the intravascular clotting and uh, secretion of angiotensin converting enzyme is also very important uh, function of lungs uh, because uh, as you know the angiotensin converting enzyme is important uh, in the maintenance of blood pressure uh, and uh, the tenth and the last uh, uh, function of uh, uh, non respiratory function of uh, lungs is the production of hormonal substances like uh, prostaglandin acetylcholine and serotonin which also have important role in blood pressure regulation so these are a total uh, 10 uh, uh, non respiratory functions number 1 is uh, all faction number 2 is vocalization and uh, number 3 is uh, prevention of dust uh, particles and uh, number four is uh, defense mechanisms and uh, number five is water balance then number six is regulation of body temperature number seven regulation of acid base balance and uh, number eight is anticoagulant function and number nine is uh, secretion of angiotensin converting enzyme and number ten is synthesis of hormonal substances so these are the non-respiratory functions of lungs or respiratory tract mainly non-respiratory functions of respiratory tract so, so you can uh, uh, labeled uh, today's topic as non-respiratory functions of respiratory tract because it is a broader term than uh, non-respiratory functions of lungs so uh, you can uh, uh, have a heading of non-respiratory functions of respiratory tract because in this uh, nostrils uh, and uh, 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 your uh, larynx and all uh, uh, the parts of respiratory tract uh, uh, can be included.